Hey everyone, Tani here, and welcome to the Blind Reaction to Steins Gate Zero, Episode 2. So yeah, we are back, and sorry for this coming so late. Uh, nearing the middle uh, to end of last week, I was getting ready for the convention and everything, and I don't know why I have these on. Uh, I was getting ready for the convention and everything that I went to this past weekend, and just doing a bunch of other stuff, and I just, I don't know, I just lost track of time and everything. But we're back, and we're getting to this. So, with the first episode of Steins Gate Zero, we had it to where this is starting in a timeline, in a world line, in which Makise Kurisu was not saved. She did uh, die, and Okabe has become normal because of it. He's, he's no longer the mad scientist we all know and love. Instead, he's a college lecturer who plays tennis <laughs> um it's weird but it it fits it, it makes sense and you understand what's going on um also at the end we find out that there's this new character this little uh miniature uh, college student who apparently is working with uh, uh what's her name the one girl with the glasses who in at least one of the world lines was a member of CERN. Um, and they're apparently using technology created by Makise Kurisu. So I'm wondering where that's going to go. Um, this is definitely already gearing up to be really interesting. And I can't wait to see what they do with it uh, going forward. So, that being said, hi. <laughs> that being said, um, we are going to get into this. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts, and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you at the reaction. Hey everyone, and we are back, and we will begin with spoilers in three two one now <laughs> you want that or something are, are you are you freaking out a little bit okay okay <laughs> um so this episode of steins case here I, I still have these on <laughs> um this was really depressing <laughs> this was really freaking depressing so we learn more about this AI, this Amadeus, and Okabe, um, he in a way sticks up for Kurisu, which gets the attention of Maho and the, uh, this, the American scientist dude, who I can't think of his name. Um, but he gets their attention, and he starts talking to Maho and revealing that he knew Kurisu and everything, and things escalate to the point where they give him the ability to use uh amadeus um like regularly it's on his phone and because of this he can communicate with uh kurisu basically well the memories of Kar kurisu from eight months ago um this is <laughs> really depressing it's troubling and depressing and really hard to watch but at the same time, it's so freaking good. Like, seriously. It's it's just so freaking good because it's well-written, it's well-paced, everything makes sense, and it's logical how they would get to this point. But it's hard to watch because we understand Okabe's feelings. We understand why he's so upset about Kurisu, about not being able to save Kurisu in this world line. And about all of the troubles and pains he's been feeling since then. We understand it. We even agree to it to a point. So it hurts us too to see him like cry crying at the end there. That Kurisu is back in his life but not actually being her. It's not actually Curry Sue. It's, it, it's an AI program created through her memories. 
It's it's not the same. But the personality is still there. The uh, <laughs> the beliefs and actions and everything is it, it's curries. It's hard to explain. It it Steinsgate uh, was always known for being kind of confusing and kind of uh, just a lot to take in. And they definitely seem to be going the same route with uh, Steins Gate Zero. Bringing in this AI program that is the just the memories and just entire personality and life and character of a person, but just in mobile form. It's not the actual person, but in every way except physical, it kind of is. It's really hard to explain. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so yeah, we didn't see much of any of the other characters, and we saw a little bit of Mayuri in this episode. Uh, no Daru, no Ferris, no Ruka, um, no Suzua. Um, they were mentioned, but they weren't shown. Um, again, except for a little bit of Mayuri at the end there. And most... Oh, jeez. I keep hitting the table that I have my laptop on. Mostly this episode did focus around Okabe and him being introduced to Amadeus, uh, specifically Cur the Kurisu uh, version of Amadeus, as well as getting to know Maho and um, the American Scientist dude a lot more. So this episode was, it, it was slower paced in a lot of ways than the first one. But it still made sense to do it that way, I feel. I think this episode needed to... The first episode kind of it reintroduced us to everything, as well as introduced us to the new concepts that this uh, sequel is going to cover. And the second episode explained what is clearly going to be a very core element in Steins Gate Zero. I really can't wait to see exactly what where they take this and how... Uh, this Amadeus program is going to completely mess things up. Because you know it's going to. Uh, but in what ways? Who knows? And here's a big question. Will he let anyone know about this? Because... I mean, if, if anyone found out about this, and especially if Suzua somehow found out about this, that could cause some legitimate issues. So I, I, I don't know where that's going to uh, go at this point, but I'm glad for that. Um, I, I do like it when a show surprises me and it, when a show makes it so I don't know what route it's going to take. While I, of course, am fine if it's a little predictable, I, I like it this way too. <laughs> um, so yeah, tell me in the comments below, though, what did you think of this uh, second episode of Steins Gate Zero? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> what did you think of Amadeus being able to summon up Kurisu's image and mannerisms? What do you think of Okabe being given Amadeus to be able to communicate with uh, Kurisu? And sorry I keep looking uh, over there. I'm looking out the window because little things catch my attention and just takes them away from like looking at the camera. I'm sorry about that. Um, the one downside to recording out here again. <laughs> um, but yeah, tell me all your thoughts on all that and more in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, so, Piper, come on. <sighs> one more time, okay? Just one more. Mwah. So, we are going to say goodbye for now. So, thank you all for watching. I'm Connie. This is Piper. And we're signing off. See you all next time. And don't just let Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Shed tears